G'day guys, Kayla from Go Travel. Today in the garage with the Raptor, we've got a new light bar and it's going in. Now I've already got a light bar in this thing. I'm changing it. You might remember my underwhelming experience with it. It's a light beam and that's a light bar. So it's okay. Not great, but okay. Decided to go with something a little bit different. This light bar has got three different reflectors in it and I think it's gonna be a good thing. So the Altec Commander V3 is basically twice light. So it's got all but double the lumens of what I've got in here. Distance wise, it's about 900 meters that they claim to get one lux at, which is pretty good. The coolest thing about it is the reflector setup. It's something a little bit different from what everyone else is doing. So I'll pull it out of the box and we'll have a good look at it. It's got these scene reflectors, which are the big square ones there with four LEDs in each. And the idea is that it just creates a good spread of light. Then it's got all the hyper spots. Then it goes into like a flood combo reflector. You can see the grooves through there. And the other thing that makes these Eltic light bars cool, they've actually got their own Raptor. So they've 3D scanned these things. They've made the brackets perfectly to fit. So it's literally just pull the grill out, bolt it in place. As you know, with the Raptor, it's got roof switches. So wiring is just as simple as connecting the two tails off the plug. But yeah, this would probably be one of the easiest light bars to install on a Raptor Ranger. The other thing that's important to note is there's not a lot of room behind the grill. So that's the key for a light bar for a Raptor Ranger is having it thin. They have designed this thing as thin as possible. Then, like I say, you've got the three different styles of reflectors in it. I've played with a lot of light bars in my time and uh, quality wise, this is definitely up there with some of the best. The aluminium housing, the way it's screwed, the way it's bolted, everything just looks like good quality components on it. It does come with a simple one pager instructions, got all the information you need on it, but basically all it says is that's the bracket configuration. There is a link to a video for the installation guide for uh, removing the grill of the Raptor, which I'll show you that. It's a little bit fiddly, but nothing too hard. And then the best thing about the Raptor, like I say, is the roof switches. As I've since learnt since my last install, is that's actually its own circuit. So you don't need relays, nothing like that. It's literally just positive to positive and negative to negative. This install just couldn't be simpler. As far as removing the grill goes, all you need to do is remove this plastic shroud off the top. This little plastic shroud on the bottom of the grill, that actually clips out. There's a couple of screws behind there which holds it all in place. And then the whole assembly just pulls forward and comes out. So with this little bit of a shroud, you just have to be careful you don't break it. Just work your way along. You get the five eight mil screws, one up the top or two up the top, three along the bottom side of it. Get them unbolted. Just pull the grill forward. Be careful not to break it. It does clip in around the headlights, so he's a little bit fiddly. But I just flip it up out of the way. So this is the washer for the camera. That is the wiring for the camera. You could unplug it and completely remove it, but you don't really need to. Just flip it up out of the way. So the bracket assembly is bolt, metal washer, bracket, plastic washer. The bracket has like a triangle cut at the top. So that triangle cut goes to the back of the light there. Each side of the grill, you've got a 10 mil bolt. So you just remove them and then the light will sit in place and just rebolt it. I was wondering why the bracket actually had two cutouts on the bottom of it. So there's a plastic plug in the back side, and they've actually got the bracket perfectly designed so you retain the plastic plug. There's actually a lot of thought going into the brackets. Like it's such a simple design, but it's perfect. Just take a look at these brackets. So these brackets are 3D skinned and it's all been cut and folded to perfectly mount. And it actually does mount so simply. You've got a bit of up and down adjustment, so we'll be able to see how it sits in the grill. You can see this upright support. There's not a lot of clearance in it, but like I say, the Altec guys 3D scan this with the intention that it just perfectly fits in the space. And they've done a top job of it. The wiring is very simple. So these are the trigger for the roof switch. We'll just shorten that up a little bit. We'll get some more length on these. For the wire strippers, we're just gonna remove about 20 mil of insulation. Yellow and black is earth, yellow is positive. So these little heat shrink connections, which I've never used, I'm actually interested to see how these go. So we'll just drop that over the wire, get that down. I don't actually know the proper way to do this. I assume we'll just try and twist the wire together somewhat. You want the solder over both wires and then, oh wow, that's actually really cool. Probably should be using a heat gun and not a lighter, <laughs> but you can actually see this working and making the connection. 
It actually does make a good connection. Yeah, so I'm going to say a lighter is definitely the right tool. For how much wiring I do, I really need to buy a heat gun. I've been saying this for years, I still haven't got one. Anyway, you can see that the, uh, the metal does contract and uh, that's a solid connection. One thing I realised after doing the connections to the wires, there's actually these oval holes front and rear. Even with the plug connected, I still managed to feed it through the hole. You can see the tail for the light bar there. Connects to the roof switch wiring, put the conduit on, thread it through that hole. Now it is all tidy out of the way. Ford really thought about these roof switches. They've done an exceptional job on them. Well, we've obviously got a connection. That is bright. Hardest thing about this is actually getting the alignment because you have to take the grill out to get it. What we'll do is we'll use the headlights on the wall and then we'll adjust it using the headlights hotspots. I think we got the alignment right. You can see how that sits in the grill. It sits quite well. I actually kind of like that you can see it. Originally I thought I wanted to hide it. Now I actually like that it's there, that you can see it. It's very hard to capture, but that sits pretty good back there. So there's not much room between the grill and the light, but as far as the brackets go, the way it bolts in, the way the reflectors sit in there, pretty stylish bit of gear. Can't wait to see this thing in the dark. It's a high beam, and that's a light beam. Right, this is just GoPro, but you can see how far that shines down the road. It is an insane amount of difference. Uh, low beam, high beam. And the way it throws out the sides. So good. And it's light bar off. Light bar on. A little bit of difference. That's pretty good. The amount of light off to the side is just amazing. Them scene reflectors really do a good job of throwing light outwards. It's an unreal amount of light. So there you have it, that's the Altec Commander V3 32 inch double row light bar with the specific brackets for the Raptor Ranger. You couldn't ask for a better install, it was just too easy. Bolted straight in place, wiring, two connections. Used it for a couple of weeks now, very happy with the light. It's 14,850 lumens, one lux at 878 meters, and that's about right. So all that light's made by the 65 watt Osram LEDs. It's got a three mil GE Lexan lens. Claims to be indestructible, comes with a lifetime warranty. Like I say, the quality of this thing is just awesome. I think my favorite thing by far on this bar is them scene lights. The amount of light it throws out to the sides of the road, it's just, it's like nothing I've ever used light bar wise before. It's, it is unreal. Anyway, I'll put a link down below if you want to check it out. I think it's a good bit of gear. Like always, I'd love to hear your thoughts and opinions. Anything, feel free, comment it below. If you like what you see, feel free to subscribe. And until next time, go travel.